Where does the number prefix to each of the reactants and products in a chemical reaction come from? We can know that when we learn how to balance a chemical equation. The concept of balancing a chemical equation comes from the law of conservation of mass. What is the law of conservation of mass? According to the law of conservation of mass, the total mass of the element present in the product side of a chemical reaction must be equal to the mass of that element which is present on the reactant side of the equation. Before learning to balance a chemical equation, let us get acquainted with the term skeletal equation. Skeletal equation is a representation of a chemical reaction using chemical formulae of reactants and products, so that the number of reactants and products is not balanced. Thus, skeletal equation is not in accordance with the law of conservation of mass. Let us take an example. Iron in the solid state reacts with water to give triferic tetroxide and hydrogen gas. Let us make a chart. From the chart, we can see that there is one iron atom on the left side and three iron atoms on the right side. There are two hydrogen atoms on the left side and two hydrogen atoms on the right side. There is one oxygen atom on the left side and four oxygen atoms on the right side of the equation. Thus, this equation is not balanced. So let us balance this equation now. FES plus H2O L gives Fe3O4 S and H2G. Step 1. To find the atom that is highest in number in the entire equation. In this equation, the atom that is the highest in number in the entire equation is 4. Step 2. Balance the number of atoms in step 1 on the other side. Let us put 4 in front of H2O. Step 3. Balance the associated atom taken in step 1. Now let us pick the associated atom, which is H, here. We put 4 in front of H2 on the IHS. So, till this point, the equation becomes FES plus 4H2O L gives Fe3O4 S plus 4H2. Step 4. Balance the remaining atoms. Thus the equation becomes 3FES plus 4H2O L gives Fe3O4 S plus 4H2. Let us take another skeletal chemical equation and try to balance it. Equation Zn plus H2SO4 gives ZnSO4 plus H2. Let us write the number of atoms of each element on LHS and RHS of the chemical equation. Thus, each atom is equal in number on both sides of the equation. There is one Zn atom on LHS and RHS, two H atoms on both LHS and RHS, four O atoms, each one both side, and one S atom, each one both side. Thus, the reaction is already balanced. Let us take another example. COG plus H2G gives CH3OHL. Step 1. H atom is 4 in number on the right hand side. We put a 2 before H2 on the LHS. There is one C and one O atom each on the LHS and RHS. We must further cross check the equation. Let us take the last equation for today for balancing the same. CO2 plus H2O at 340 degrees centigrade give C6H12O6 and O2. Step 1. H atom is 12 in number on RHS. Let us make H is 12 in number on LHS. Thus, we put a 6 in front of H2O. Now there are 8 oxygen atoms, each on LHS and RHS. Then, we go to C. There are 6 carbon atoms on RHS. Let us put 6 in front of CO2 on LHS. That increases the number of oxygen atoms on the LHS. 
Thus, we balance the number of O atoms on the IHS. Thus, the whole equation becomes 6CO2G plus 6H2O L gives C6H12O6S plus 6O2G. That is why, there is a need to cross-check the equation at the end. Let us summarize what we have studied till now. The total mass of the elements present in the products of a chemical reaction must be equal to the total mass of the elements present in the reactants. Skeletal chemical equation is a representation of a chemical reaction using chemical formulae of reactants and products. The number of reactants and products is not balanced. A balanced equation is an equation for a chemical reaction in which the number of atoms for each element in the reaction and the total charge is the same for both the reactants and the products. Steps to balance an equation. A. First, mark the atom which is the highest in number. B. Then balance that atom on the other side of the equation. C. Balance the associated atom on both the sides. D. Then pick the other atoms and balance them on both sides. E. Give a final check to the entire equation.